So I am here at bill number three, which is the concrete works. And I am starting this bill with a general note that says that we are here in referring to the civil specifications section so and so and to the structural drawings number so and so as well. And when we talk about concrete works, we are starting with the first subsection, which is poured concrete. And under the poured concrete, I can have items like the PCC plain cement concrete and I can have the reinforced concrete elements as well. So under the PCC or the plain cement concrete, as we can see here, we can have items similar to the blinding that comes under the foundations and the substructure and so on. And we can also have the concrete filling such as the foam concrete or the lightweight concrete filling and the stuff like that. So items like this will come under the plain cement concrete, which comes under the poured concrete. So other than the PCC or the plain cement concrete, we also have the RC or the reinforced concrete. And under the reinforced concrete, we can have all the concrete elements of the project, which is like foundations, ground beams, columns, walls, lintels, suspended slabs, beams, staircases, parapets, upstands, and so on. And actually we can split also like the substructure can be separate from the superstructure. But anyway, I need to follow the subsections which are starting from the poured concrete as we can see here. So items under the poured concrete will be measured in cubic meter, either the PCC items or the RC items will be measured in cubic meter. And of course, the quantities will be measured in accordance with the principles that we are working with. And here, the rate should cover the manpower required for the concrete casting and should cover the concrete rate as well. And if any tools or equipment required for casting the concrete. So here under the poured concrete, I am not talking about any carpenter work or shuttering work or form work or steel. I am just talking about the concrete itself and I am measuring these items in cubic meter as you can see here. And if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adel and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, actually you are in the right place. This channel is just for you. The next subsection we have is the reinforcement. And under the reinforcement, we have a description here that says supply and fix steel reinforcement bars, all in accordance with British standard number so and so and civil specification section so and so and the structural drawings number so and so. And the first thing here, I have an item that is measured in kilogram and it is called various diameters. And these are all the steel diameters that we have. We are just combining all of them into one item. So I am just making the full steel reinforcement required for the project as one item and I am measuring it here in kilogram but if you want to split the diameters like starting from 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm 16 and so on you can also do that or you can club them all together as you can see here and you can say just various diameters and you can put the quantity in kg if you split them still the quantity for each diameter will be also measured in kg and you will have to follow the principles when you are measuring the quantity Regarding the rate of this item, the rate will include the steel supply and the manpower steel fixers required to cut and bend and fix the steel and also uh, any chairs required or any tools required for the cutting and bending and fixing and all of that. Also the binding wires and all such items should be covered under this rate. And the second item we have here under the reinforcement is the mesh and sometimes we have a ready-made meshes and they have some number here like as you can see a252 and this refers to the diameter of the mesh and the spacing of the mesh and there are so many of them you can google them like steel meshes or steel meshes numbers and all of that so you can see which number refers to which diameter and which spacing and this item is a steel reinforcement item and usually it comes for grade slabs or slab on grades stuff like that and actually this item, even though it's a steel reinforcement, it is measured in square meter. So all you have to do is to just take the area of the slab on grade, for example, and you will put it here as the quantity. So this will be measured in a square meter, this item. And the rate also will cover the supply of the steel meshes and the steel fixers required to fix it and all of that. So this is regarding the steel reinforcement. Next here we have the shuttering or the form work. And I have a description here under the shuttering, which is supply and install shutters and form work, all in accordance with the civil specification section number so and so. And I am referring to the concrete section in the civil specification and the structural drawings as before. 
The thing is that here I will repeat the items that I have measured under the poured concrete here because all these items obviously they have shuttering or they require four more and I am starting with the sides of foundations, sides of ground beams. By the way, if your foundations are some isolated footings connected together by some tie beam or if the foundation system is pile caps connected with tie beams, then the quantity actually for the poured concrete and for the shuttering for the foundations will include both the tie beams and the pile caps or the isolated footings. If you want to split them, that's also fine, but I'm just telling you what is happening in this POQ. So back to the shuttering again, we have the sides of foundations, the sides of ground beams, sides of columns and walls, and of course the formwork required for lentils, sides and soffits of suspended slabs, sides and soffits of beams, staircase, sides of parapet, sides of upstands. So basically the same items that we have measured in cubic meter under the poured concrete section, we again will measure just the wall area and sometimes the soffit area plus the wall area of the element to get the quantities here. And it is an area because it's the area of the shutters or the form wall. So this is usually measured in square meter, as you can see here. So we have three main things, the poured concrete, elements and they will be measured in cubic meter the steel reinforcement when we are talking about the straight bars reinforcement for example we are measuring this in kilogram and when we are talking about the meshes we are measuring them in a square meter then after that the shuttering or the form work the shuttering or the form work is measured in a square meter as you can see here for these items and the next subsection will be the post tensioned concrete usually we use the post tension in the modern projects so here the description can be design supply and fix post tensioning system including all required tendons and materials complete all in accordance with the civil specification section number so and so and you will refer to that section in the specifications and the structural drawings number so and so and you can mention that concrete steel and the shuttering are measured elsewhere so here when i say to post tension slabs or the item of the post tension which is measured in a square meter this is only the post tensioning works. So the items or the rate will cover only the items and the materials that are coming under this description, which excludes the concrete and the steel reinforcement and the shuttering. So you might ask me then what, what will be there? The design will be there, the authority approvals and the tendons and the ducts that these tendons will pass through and also post tensioning the slab after the casting and the plugging it and the grout required to fill the ducts there is a technical detail for this you can search for the post tension slabs and learn more about them and this item is actually measured in a square meter as you can see so you will just take the area of the slabs or the post tension items and this quantity will be here in a square meter and the rate will cover usually this item is subcontracted to a post tension specialist so the rate here will be the subcontractor that you will hire for the post tension plus any labors that you need from your side because they don't provide labors most of the time they just provide the design and the materials and you will need to fix them under their supervision then after you cast your slab they will come and do the post tensioning or tensioning these tendons and also if you need any tools or equipments or something they will come here so we have talked about subcontractor and your labors and the equipment or stuff required for the post tension and back to the shuttering actually here, the rate of the shuttering should cover the carpenters or the shuttering carpenters and it should also cover the formwork and the formwork when I am talking about the formwork I am talking only about woods because usually a scaffolding is measured under the general requirements but in so many cases I have seen people also including in the rate of the shuttering or the formwork they are including the scaffolding so let's generalize this let's say that the rate will include the scaffolding and the wood and the shuttering carpenters and any tools or equipments they need to do the shuttering or the form work so these things will come under this rate so the rate will cover this stuff and when we go to the here the last subsection we have in the concrete works we have the sundries actually and sundries are small miscellaneous items as we have talked before so here you can allow something for the construction joints you can allow something for the expansion joints and you can allow also for concrete surfacing or fair face surface something like that and actually you can have the unit of measurement here as item so just it will be a lump sum item to allow for these small things that are related to the concrete works 
So again, let's review it very fast. We have the poured concrete and we understand then the reinforcement shuttering. And after that, we have the post tension and we have the sundries. Actually, as I told you, you can split the substructure from the superstructure, but you need to have the same subsections under each of them. So you will duplicate the BOQ that you are seeing here right now if you split the sub from the superstructure. And we have the generally. So here you can just allow the contractor to price any items that are not listed above, but required to do that concrete works. And this video here is where I do a detailed estimate for the concrete works. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.